Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702 702- 595-0488. Defendant William Tolt was in District Court Kim Wonker's courtroom this week for a hearing on a probation violation. Tolt, who was arrested for various crimes, including sales and use of methamphetamine to minors, battery with a deadly weapon, child abuse and neglect, and possession of drugs and under the influence of drugs, has now been arrested for bringing contraband into the detention center. Tolt had already served 287 days of his sentence and had 77 days remaining. I have to tell you, he was an absolute jerk to my staff. Um, My staff wanted to drug test him. He was very rude and disrespectful. It's unacceptable. So I hope he steps himself back in here. But that is unacceptable. The defendant was represented by attorney Jaharna Shahani. Shahani asked the judge that her client go to a diversion program. I believe that and I hope that the court would consider revoking him from diversion, allowing him to get treatment, and then um, letting him finish the term of his probation. Deputy District Attorney Brent Percival says that the county needs to stop paying for the defendant and have him take responsibility for his actions. You know, usually I try to be the voice of moderation and caution in these situations, but let's look at what this really is. I mean, he's been given a chance to go to inpatient drug treatment where he his every need is cared for. And he's hoarding cigarettes, hoarding candy, hoarding this, which he no doubt knew were as against the rules, or he wouldn't have been hiding them in his room. It wouldn't have been necessary to hoard them. But nevertheless, he get, kind of gets by with that, and then he comes in and tests dirty for methamphetamine because, oh my gosh, his monster must have been contaminated. And now that he's here, and he really wants no consequence. Well, let me go, and I'll come into drug court and pee in a cup for you every two weeks, or once a week, or twice a week. And as long as I pass that, we can get done with it. How about this? How about he does his 77 days and is done with it, and we can quit babysitting him. And we can quit wasting the state's money, and the county's money, and the drug court's money. And we can just wash our hands of this. Put him in jail for 77 days. If he doesn't figure out that his lifestyle right now is not the right course of conduct to keep him comfortable while he's in there for 77 days, well, I'm sure we'll see him again. In the end, Judge Kim Wonker decided that Defendant Tolt finish out the 77 days remaining on his sentence and be released from jail.